Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and I am your host Kanti Ray. Few days ago I made a video about how to delete Morphbox Audio Junior and how to get rid of that audio driver from that driver pre uh, audio driver preference. After posting that video, one of my viewer commented on there. It say that great video. Thank you, Music Great Network, who commented on my on my comment box. He said I did this recently with a program called Soundflower, but I'm having a real hard time getting rid of the program called Lonely Screen, which is an AirPlay software like Reflector that lets you AirPlay your iPhone, iPad to your Mac. I still have Lonely Screen as an audio output source on my Mac. Any idea? Thank you, Music Grid Network. I'm going to help you now, and now you can delete that software from your Mac. I'm going to show that steps, and thank you for your important comment i want all my viewers and all my others admirers who likes my videos to post a comment and like on my video and share with other people and if you didn't subscribe yet please subscribe so it can help me grow my channel and it will help me encourage me to make those content again and again so today i already installed that software on my computer and i'm going to go to the computer screen and I'm going to show you how you can delete that software very easily without any hassle. I know how it's frustrating when you get those kind of problem and you couldn't able to solve that. I have had that problem always but eventually I able to solve those problems somehow. So let's start and go to the computer screen and start our project. We have come to this computer screen. We have already installed, we already have installed the software. The name of the software is Lonely Screen. It has come some kind of subscription, but I'm not going to get any subscription for that software. It's a very bad software. It doesn't work. It's laggy. It's it's worse. If I try to connect, I have to just swipe up. I have to just open that software. I'm just going to open the software here. Let's see what is there. Last a moment. Just close that software, then restart the software. I'll show you what is the screen looks like. Lonely screen looks like. It just looks like like this. You just give a screen name, then click on save, and then you just swipe up on your can on your screen. You just click on screen mirror screen, and it will show my screen. I don't know if you able to see or not. It will show my screen. You just click on that. It's just mimicking the Apple TV. You are not using Apple TV, but they are going to use it. I just click on tag but still after a long time it came into the screen you see now it's, it's in the screen and whatever you are doing it's going to do here the same way but it's very laggy it sometimes doesn't work so I need to delete that software and I know how frustrating when you don't able to delete that software and all this uh, additional thing that come with that software is staying there you know and it's terrible so First of all, what I'm going to do, we're going to quit that software. Just close everything. Uh, we'll just right click and quit. Then we'll go to the application and delete the lonely screen. Command delete. We know how to delete the application from Mac. You go your finder, then on the right, left side, you see the application icon here application icon you just click on that and then choose whatever software you want to delete just press command plus delete and then enter your password then it's going to be deleted then you go to the trash icon and empty the software that's it but still we can see there is that my screen the lonely screen whatever is there it's still there and the sound preference if we go to the sound preference from here settings to sound preference we can see this still that one is showing here Talker, driver so we'll go click on finders and we'll go go to and then go to folders then we'll type the same way it's here library and click ok then we'll search here lonely l-o-n-e l-y lonely 
in library. If we see any of that, say lonely screen or something, we'll just delete that one from here. Just select that one and command delete. Then we'll just restart our computer and move back and we'll see if it has been deleted or not from the sound preference. Now again we are back on the computer screen after restarting the computer. Now we'll check it out if we able to delete that output sound, sound device as a lonely screen from our computer or not. We'll go to the system preference and we will check it out the sound. Voila! We see the system device, output device, it's not here anymore. So first of all, we're going to do what? After installing that software, if we don't want anymore, we will delete that software. If we are running the software, we'll quit the software. Then we will delete that software from the application folder. Then we will go to that library from the go option from here. If we open the finder, we'll go to the go, then go to the go folder and from there we'll just type that one library and click on go when the library option will going to open we are just going to be going to here we are just going to type lonely yellow any -E ly lonely and click on library if something is there we'll just delete that lonely option command delete and that's all nothing else we need to do And also we can do here other things if still coming up then we can go to the the library and we can go to the audio then we can go to the MIDI drivers and plugins we can check it out everything here if something lonely is here we can just delete that thing from here if, if nothing is there right now so we'll just delete all these plugins whatever is going to be there like this That's all. That's all for the video today. If you like my video, just please like, press the like button and share with other people. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe. If you subscribe, that encourage me and help me to make more content. And if you wanted to know anything else, just please, please comment on the comment box and let me know if you wanted to know anything else, any problem, anything. Just let me know. So see you again. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.